Hey. <laughs> Sounds so depressed. <laughs> Jesus. Playing some hardcore. I haven't streamed in a really long time. But I'm going to get back into it. Um, slowly. With some regular old Minecraft. But in a way I've never actually played. Never played hardcore before. So, this will be a journey of possible anger. I spent some time making the game look how I like. So, we're playing on 1.18.1. And uh, this is going to be hardcore only, essentially. For this stream, anyway. So, we're on hard difficulty, which means i got to kill all the animals here just to get some food. Me... Oh yeah, you don't have food, do you? Oh, leather. Would you... Could you die? Thank you. There are physics. There was a villager over there. Relaxed. <laughs> I hope the game audio is coming through just fine. Uh, let's... I know a wooden sword is the weirdest thing to make, but I'm making it just to kill these guys. Thank you. If the, uh, if there's any real harsh lag, I'll probably turn off the physics. I just don't want to do it. this guy? There she is. My mom! Get out of here. So I've got a physics mod and I've got some graphics mods. It's lovely. A lovely scream. God, that scream is so shrill. Donkey. The donkey will live. Let's go and check out that village. See if they've got anything for us to cook this stuff with. Got plenty of wool now. I can immediately make a bed. And there's a cave right there with some coal in it. Ooh. Actually, not a bad thing to get real quick. Question is, do I want to... Uh, do I want to make this thing, like, make my home in that village over there? Let's make a stone pickaxe. This is horrible.
Oh. I could see through the world. Let's get the rest of the coal. I can sleep the night in the village. I'm just going to steal one of their beds. I wish you could actually make stuff out of copper. Like armor. Like anything's better than nothing. Coal is highly valuable, I must collect it all. Gotta get it anyway. I think that's all of it. Oh, there's some left up there, but that's fine. I can just get... get rid. What am I doing? Beautiful, eh? Damn, two villages right next to each other. Ouch. Let's uh let's go and see this village. Oh. Hopefully this place has a blacksmith. Fingers crossed. I very rarely get villages that have blacksmiths. Ah, <gasps> uh, I think that's one. That's a blacksmith, or is it? Yeah, it is. Diamond horse armor. Nice. Nice iron sword, though. Some iron boots. Very useful. Cook all that while I'm exploring. Nice, look at all this stuff. What is this? Oh, what do you do? Six leather equals an emerald. Three emeralds equals a pair of trousers. Negative. I don't want to pay for that. You out of your mind? This may be an ideal place to, like, set up. Seeing as it's so like
This is very nice. Huh. Huh. Respawn point set. Thank you for telling me where I won't be able to respawn to. It's better if I sleep, dude. I control the weather. Ooh, pumpkin. This might be the best place I could set up, because it's honestly, it's like, it's got a nice golem. I'll go check out the other one. Okay, let's go and get my pork. Oh, lamb, sorry. Mutton. Let's go get me mut. What are you two doing? Ooh, very nice. Turn this stuff into bread. Bread. Beautiful. Uh, let's also make an um, axe. There we go. Hi, bud. How's it going? Uh. Excuse me. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. <laughs> You be do 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 they all did. I never run out of food. I'm pretty much just guaranteeing that I won't die of starvation. A little bit. That's nice. Let's grab some of this. Isn't this pretty? Got anything in here, sir? Got any drugs? Hey, all right, cow. Yeah, I exist. I am existing. Aww. On Twitch, anyway. 
Doing a bunch of stuff on YouTube. Yeah. I haven't talked in ages. How was Christmas? Nothing up here. What do you do with these? Christmas was beautiful. That's good to hear. Did you have a lot of um, wild mushroom soup? <laughs> so it was New Year's. That's good. I uh, was there. <laughs> yes, actually, you did have wild mushroom soup. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's good. For it's good to hear. If there's one thing I know you like, it's the mushroom soups. You're a soup family. <laughs> Head of Christmas soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta love the old Christmas soups. I like when, like, everyone tries to go for traditional. Oh, shit, awesome. Well done. Everyone tries to go for, like, traditional food at Christmas, and then they end up saying, oh, fuck it, you know, I don't want to buy beef. They end up buying pork or turkey, or, like, no turkey, just beef or pork or something. I'm not sure about summer soup. Summer soup seems a bit too heavy. Partridge turkey. Cow me, boy. You are the most... You are honest. You are somehow the most middle class person I've ever spoken to in my life. It's, it's an impressive amount of middle class vibes. Oh, oh yeah, it's a bar turn. What is that noise? What in God's green earth is that noise? What the fuck? Why is that so loud? Jesus. That is so loud. Okay. Yeah, we have a... Was it? I, yeah, I didn't know what it was. Like, I never had soup growing up, so I just know I'd... I don't associate soup with a satisfying amount of food for some reason. It's honest, it's healthy because there's not a lot of calories in soup. It's just water, unless you fill it full of uh, cream. Then it suddenly becomes a very calorie dense <laughs> food, but not that dense. I've never had partridge in my life. What the heck does a uh, to go to a specialty vendor to get partridge, or is that just in Asda? Yes, we have the partridge partridge section of Asda. Oh, I uh, yeah, I didn't have that for Christmas. I had mushrooms and stuff. But I had this, uh, like a vegetarian pie type thing. You got us from a local butcher. Okay. We're lucky we even have a butcher here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't eat meat. 
That's water there. Let's go explore some ship. Isn't this pretty? Beautifully calm waters. This isn't just any water. This is M&S water. I think I've already told you before. I'm not sure if diet is that big of a deal at this current time in human history. I mean, what is it like? There are those, you know, there are those countries around the world where people who eat meat are in the minority, such as India. Surprisingly little amount of people eat meat there. There's just so many people there that... It, <laughs> there's so many people in India that the meat eaters still outweigh the population of of the UK by a massive amount. But proportionally speaking, it's like 70% vegetarian, I think. Yep. Here. I have eaten meat before and stuff. It's just for the um for the first um twelve years of my life I wasn't a meat eater. I didn't eat anything with meat in it. Uh, uh, my mother um wanted me to know what it was before I um consciously ate it. She felt like that was uh saving me some level of like moral guilt. Which, I don't know, I still think it's a good idea, you know, because it is like a very big subject. Because it's like, more than ever now, people sort of, like, society is on and off with the idea of, like, eating meat and animal products. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Also, I don't have to have meat. This is so loud. That didn't do anything. Yeah, I don't have to have meat um, in my meal for it to really feel like satisfying. Whereas I know a lot of people do. Some people I know, literally, like, in certain places around the world, like, um, when I was in the Gambia in Africa, like, they, they didn't consider eating, like, they didn't consider something a meal unless it had meat in it. Like, if you were eating a salad there, they would be like, you know, All sorts of stuff like that. They don't, they don't listen. You have veggie at least two times a week. Like you have vegetables or your diet changes to vegetarian only. Ouch. A veggie meal. Okay. I, uh... What is it? I think every meal like can be sort of converted. There's some really good recipes that you can have and you can make. And some really like nice tasting stuff. Okay. You know what I don't understand is when like somebody's like people people who don't look at fish as meat I really I don't understand how they've walked that like that somehow a fish isn't an animal like what is it a plant like pescatarianism that type of thing it's just strange it's like 
It's like you're 50% a vegetarian, but at the same time, completely not a vegetarian. Like, I, if it's a mammal, I won't eat it. Good heavens, no. But, uh, if it's got scales, I'll eat it. If it has legs, I can't eat it. No. But why? Very peculiar sort of perspective on the world. Yeah, it would make more sense that like if if you're going off like you know you're against the idea of eating meat because you don't like the morals of it. Um, that you wouldn't, like, it doesn't make sense that you're a pescatarian if you don't like eating meat because of the moral sort of basis. Like, pe people who, I have met people who think that it's like, that they're adhering to that moral of like not eating meat or whatever else because they feel it's morally wrong. Like, they feel it's morally wrong, but then they go, oh, a fish. Yeah, that's not meat. Like, what are you on about? Like, are you out of your fucking mind? So, like, do you realize in our evolutionary past we were fish? I would say it's really difficult in some parts of the world. Even if you do think that, like, you know, animals are grey and they have the, the same sort of should have the same sort of respect as us or whatever else like even if you do think that like there are places that you just can't find like any vegetarian or vegan options or anything anywhere but the first time i went to the united states there was nothing for vegetarians anywhere like i wasn't vegetarian at the time but my mother was and she struggled to find anywhere for to eat I like, really struggled. <laughs> We'd go past places and we would just know that that place has not got any options for her. Like Burger King, Applebee's, all that sort of place. It's like, oh, you could have lettuce. You could have plenty of lettuce. They st there's a lot of people in America who still see like vegetarians and that sort of stuff as being like, they literally just eat vegetables. Like, that is a weird one. Where is this boat that I was on? Like, how lost have I gotten already? So I'm coming back up on this village over here. Up. Is this the same place? It's got to be the same place. How far did I travel? <laughs> I need to find that boat. Ah, there we go. I'm on the map. Yes, let's go and hunt for the treasure. Go. 
By the way, if ads just like turn on out of nowhere, let me know. They shouldn't do, but they might. Okay. If I remember correctly, there was some sort of trick about like getting to chunk nine and then going here and then you can dig straight down and you should find... Oh my god, it actually works, okay. Yeah. A heart of the sea, that's super rare, I think. Lots of iron. Damn. Uh, take the cooked salmon. Cooked cod? Okay. There you go. I think that's all right. Oh yeah, I could keep the bed. Get rid of the sticks. It's alright, I'm not that anal about it. I'll just take all this stuff. I think I'm going to make my house over here. On this, like, sort of area around here. I feel like it's a cool idea. There's a whole like sort of little outcroppy islandy bit. Kind of cute. Sleep. Hashtag HC, but not HC. I don't. I think I'm too silly to understand what that means. That's a turtle. Hardcore, but not, but not hardcore. Is that what you're saying? Gotcha. Okay, let's let's uh go and set up somewhere. I like finding areas that are very open. So this might be a good one. Okay, buddy. Enjoy your mushroom soup. <laughs> Enjoy your nice mushrooms. Fine mushrooms. Don't really need that anymore. Don't know why I picked up the map after. <laughs> Today's broccoli, pea, mint, and bacon. Delicioso. That sounds nice and tasty. I'm going to hunt for a better spot. I don't want to um, have this whole area just be like, crap. I think it's better I find a good spot first than um, set up with a bad spot.
Okay. Sort of got a nice spread of biomes around here, I guess. Ouch. Pretty cool looking. There's like a village up there. I think exploring for a while before settling down is a good idea. Because at least this way I'm like, damn, this is the spot. I got so much food as well. Hello, fellows. More bread. A sawmill. A sawmill. Oh. Cow. Human. Huh? Um. A lot of stuff for a bookshelf, dude. Ah. Pumpkin pie. Ah. Oh, damn. Ah. I don't really like the spruce areas enough. Like, they're nice. To like visit. I think I'm gonna set up over here, like in this sort of far nicer, greener area. Because it's like a super depressing place to be if you're gonna just spend your entire time playing the game surrounded by like dirt green. Looks nice. Sort of, uh, I like to look for flat areas that don't have like tons of shit surrounding it. I quite like the idea of finding like a nice kind of walled in little area. Somewhere you can go, yeah, this is a base. This is a base of operations. Ooh, ice scape. That looks nice. Pretty. Ouch. This is quite cool, actually. Looking. Pretty cool around here. The issue is, it's, it's like it's not naturally that good looking. It's nice, but it's not the best. Like, I want a nice flat area. I can, I can walk around for days. I've got so much food. It's going to be the most interesting stream ever, but I'm making this worthwhile here. Isn't this like the... This is like the crazy v ice that makes you go weirdly fast, isn't it? Like dense ice. Up, yep, up, yo.
So I've got like ads and shit I can run now, but I'm not sure if I want to. I think maybe an ad break if like go if I go to like the toilet would be a good idea. Because I don't really. I think running an ad break in the middle of when you're doing stuff is a bit strange. This looks promising. Up. Very promising. Got like a nice hill. Pretty cool. Ooh. Okay, this could be it. It's so nice and flat. This looks nice. Yeah, this could easily all be like cleared away by shovel. Got to sleep before the monsters spawn. <laughs> Please. Please. I think I need to turn the audio down. It's still excessively loud, isn't it? There we go. Going to sleep with seeds in my hand. Nice looking. There we go. I can even plant some of these. Tell you what, let's um put the chest down. Put the fucking chest down. Some raw beef, we'll just put everything in there, take out what we need. I have five emeralds. I'll tell you what I'll do actually, I'll make a bunch of can sticks first off, use this for just for sticks. Iron pickaxe. Um Iron hat. Iron chest armor. A little bit more protected. Don't want to be like ridiculously over armored from the get go, I guess, but. Okay, let's use um, some of this cobblestone. To make a sort of layout. I think 
a nice sort of lengthy building. going to be the sort of strange outline. Okay, this is a good sort of foundational size. I'm going to make this house like a nice house. Yeah, this thing's going to be huge. Just like way too big. Let's go and get some torches. Drunk. It's going to bother me. There you go. It's very dark. An interesting find. Turns out this is actually plutonium. Sorry guys, the hardcore series is over. I died of radiation exposure. Got 14 eyeballs. You just can't supply that many eyeballs of blood, it's impossible. Yes, that is nice. A single piece, great. Fuck's sake. Okay. Yeah, let's 
Let's go and put down more foundations. Okay, so we've got a bunch more we can do. Make a shovel. At the very least, make a shovel. Good God, man. Okay, my gander, you bastard. Sort of get an idea for the rooms, I guess. It's all going to be wood anyway. Seventeen shovels later. another one. I am so imprecise. It's kind of laggy. You wouldn't see it on the stream, but it's pretty laggy. I'll try turning off the... Um... Um... There you go. Try this out. Yeah, that's nowhere near as likely. I'll just keep break particles off for now. It's cool, but it is laggy. the bed down. Sleep. Gonna have to get a lot of wood. I could go for something a little bit more interesting with the design of this. Something that's like... I don't know, maybe more like... Less sort of good looking, more utilitarian.
thought I got a fun idea in my mind. Plenty of dirt. So my idea is that I'm going to make this a very simplistic structure. Actually, no. I'm going to make it two different kinds of wood for the floor. Let's go and cut down some dress. Up. Let's make a little bridge, like a little jumpy bridge. How far can I jump from here? Put around here. No, I'm not going to be able to do that. Play it safe. Okay, so if I've done this correctly, I should actually be able to jump across this. Ah, uh, you know what? It's become a, it's it's becoming a straight bridge. No point in making it a jumpy one if I can just make it a straight bridge. At least it's like supported. It kind of looks like a real bridge from the underneath. Hello there, chicken. He was like, you're all right, mate. Don't laugh at me. I'm going to make the floors out of birchwood. Because yes, I know it's so bright that it tears the connected tissues behind your eyes, but I don't care. Bro. Bre. Bre. Seems like kind of tiny. I don't know why. Seems smaller than normal. Let's go take all this wood back. Pick up some saplings. Pick up some saplings. Okay. 
Okay. I'll pick that one up. Let's take some of this sugar cane from the chests and plant it. All in a line. There we go. Wow, is this like a whole ravine? Oh, it is. Yeah, I got some iron down there. This is how it was to die. I don't think I'll have enough. Wait, why am I doing it like this? What am I doing? I have to be efficient. I'm playing hardcore. You don't need the floor to go all the way to the edges. That's a silly idea. Going for some old school looking Minecraft stuff. Like I don't want this to look stupid, but I'm going old school. Have to figure out which side I want this all on. good enough. Oh now. Are you f***ing with me? Go away! Okay, there's a good layer down here. Like I said, I'm going old school. I 
guess I should have the entrance be somewhere like that side. Yeah. All right. These guys are being kind of stupid, aren't they? Time for me to be stupid too. You motherfucker. Out of here. Float. Uh. There's only two. Eventually, I'm going to have a perimeter. Let's uh, put down a furnace. Not going to cook the copper yet. There's not really a lot of point. Light wool, all this stuff is pretty useless. There we are. I was about to use wheat to try and make a hoe. Good enough. Good enough start. Kind of see what I'm going to go for here. Sort of strange type of uh, triple building set up here. I'm going to need more wood though. Specifically birch wood. All the birch. Shut up, birch.
go. finish tree off though. It's illegal to leave a floating tree. Let's head back to the wooden pillars. tree. Damn, that's a, that's a hard sw a fucking pill to swallow there. I think I'll have enough to complete this. Fucking god. I gotta make another axe. Got a lot of shit in here. Uh, let's put a floor in one of the other ones. I think we're going to manage both, actually. Got a nice sort of like triple building setup I'm kind of going for here. I think it'll be kind of fun. It's 
sort of weirdly cramped, but... Whoa! What the fuck's just happened? What was that? <laughs> I think that was an error just then. I think that was something to do with the lighting on the torch. It's like bugged out hard. So this is just going to continue up. It's going to be the grand building. I'm going to catch it in my mouth. Oh. Beautiful. Let's turn one of these rooms into like a storage room. Nope, I did not just mean to make a fucking pressure pad. <laughs> uh, this one can just be fucking like dirt. One of them could just be a fucking room full of hay for now. Let's not hope there's a fire. That's the hay room. Food. That's a food. Technically a food. Alright, let's go put all the food in this one. Oh, I got the wrong one. I didn't even look what was in the chest. Not that. That. There we go. Um, for now, I'll just dump all this shit in here. Cobblestone, all that type of shit. Let's build a front door. You know what I did get? I got up on the bottom. Kind of fun. Are there any dogs around here?
Not to know. Move it out. Let's uh take these out. Those are gonna be useful. Forgot I even put those in there. Let's make these doors now. And uh, let's make a couple pressure pads. Let's get rid of this dirty birch one. Kind of weird, but I like it. Come down here, you just want to go. <laughs> A lot of going on, but I like it. There's something quirky about it, it's enjoyable. Um, let's not do that. Make a big, make a bucket. Bucket's not a bad idea. Um, I think that's enough for today. Good sort of first stream back. Put everything important in my inventory for next time. Then uh, pick up where I left off tomorrow at some point. Cool. All right. See you later.